Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So this is the very last good luck video that I'm making. I just realized that actually that this is the very last good luck video that I'm making for A-level math students this year because P3 is the last component. And uh, I just want to wish you guys the best of luck. I know it's too late, but uh, hopefully you guys will watch this video inshallah before the exam. So just a couple of things to keep in mind, get a good night's sleep as always. Uh, especially if you have two exams tomorrow and also just cut yourself off from social media as, as it is with every paper there are rumors rumors okay I haven't seen anything uh, worth talking about but there are rumors about leaks and everything so just ignore that if you come across such a thing it's completely irrelevant uh, just count on your own preparation as always have faith in your own preparation so you don't need a leak or anything to do well in the exam inshallah you'll be able to do it on your own and uh, just make sure to skim through the paper you know, save your energy, save your time and uh, just manage your energy and manage your time really well. Uh, start off with the easier questions. Now, sometimes the easy questions are also lengthy. So just because the question is lengthy, don't leave it for the very end. If it's, you know, if it's from an easy concept, like for example, it could be an, a very easy vectors question. It could be a very easy algebra question, which could be, you know, partial fractions, could be um, binomial or sometimes they're merged into one. So if you come across such a question, start those first. Make sure that you're very careful about um, your, the mode that your calculator is in. If you're solving a trigonometric equation which has range in degree mode, your calculator must be in degree mode. If it's radian, it must be in radian mode. Uh, same goes for if you, let's say you're doing area under the curve, then area under the curve, we know, is always to be done in radian mode. And um, same goes for differentiation. Any question of differentiation integration which has trigonometry is to be done in radian mode. And uh, whatever it is that you can use your calculator to check your answer, make sure to do that. Uh, like for example, area under the curve, gradient of a curve at a, a gradient of a of a curve at a certain point, simultaneous equations. But make sure that you show all your working. Okay, tri tri quadratic equations or cubic equations. So just make sure that you show all your working. Your calculator is just there to tell you whether you've done it correctly or not. Okay, you can't substitute any form of working. Uh, you, you, your calculator is no substitute to any form of working. Okay. And uh, just review the notes if you want to, if you're feeling very anxious, you know, on the way to the examination hall, but you know, just wrap things, just don't solve past paper in the morning, don't test yourself in any shape or form in the morning. Uh, you just need to relax, P3 is going to be a mentally tiring paper, so you need to be mentally prepared for that, keep yourself hydrated, it's really hot these days, so just make sure that you have a water bottle with you and you stay hydrated. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Make sure that you have a fully functioning calculator, you have all the stationery, and uh, you know, don't shy, don't, don't uh, make a rough sketch to, uh, when you come across questions related to complex numbers. In complex numbers, if you're asked to make a rough sketch, obviously that's a different story, but in that, make sure to be as accurate as possible. But you know, in some cases, like for example, in vectors, in trigonometry, we're not asked to make a rough sketch, but if we make a rough sketch, we know that we are. We will better be. We, we will be able to better understand the question, and consequently, we will be able to get it right as well. So don't shy away from that, and uh, don't shy away from any form of uh, going the extra mile, because it will only help you understand the question, and will or will that will obviously increase the probability of you getting it right. So and uh, let me know how it goes. Most of, that's that's one thing that I would say at the very end. I'll be waiting, inshallah, to hear from you guys. I know I couldn't post a lot of content for P3. I. I I couldn't sort of uh, balance with all the other subjects that I wanted to post content on. But inshallah, inshallah, next year I'll do that. So yeah, uh, that's it from my side. I'll see you guys inshallah. Okay, no, I actually won't see you guys. But I'll, I'll, I will post a video inshallah in which I'll ask you guys how the exam went. So yeah, that's it. And best of luck to you guys. Remember me, uh, my family and uh, your teachers, your classmates and everyone, every person who had even like a, a very uh, smallest of the role to help you in this journey of yours. So remember them in your prayers and I'll speak to you guys soon, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.